hi guys in this video we're gonna start building our app more and in this video we're gonna build our search box component such that we can use this component in any place that we want so back to code in here I have already created one folder search box and uh, two files inside the search box CSS for styling and search box.js where I'm gonna write the code so import what we are gonna import import same thing import react from react now in here it's gonna get con search box it's again a functional component and we're gonna use the functional es6 syntax in here what we're gonna return we're gonna return the input tag and in here the type attribute will be a search and the class name which we are gonna provide later is search and in here the placeholder is gonna be a dynamic because this is this component can uh, can be used in any place that you want and the on change method the same as the on click method that you have seen it's an on change method and for now you can just write like this and just use it and just close this input tag and just export default search box now in here what we're gonna return we're gonna return the props yeah right now in app.js we're gonna import search box from dot select component search box search box now in here search box in search box what we have attributes attributes are placeholder in placeholder for now we have just given enter country name right and there is one more method in here on change method now for here for here we are gonna just provide the props the one that you have given the placeholder and in here we can just give props dot handle change because it's a function and we're gonna write the function in here right in app.js so in here handle change handle chain in here we're gonna write an anonymous function and we're gonna just see what it is so for now in here just use e that's for event because we are changing something and just for now just console.log this e right now just go to your code and you can see that we got the search box just open the console log uh, just console and in here just type in something like KL and you can see that we are getting some event call in here and we got one object that we are consoling in here so the main takeaway from here that it is it's an event and whenever we trigger whenever we change something on this search box it's gonna trigger one change uh, it's gonna create one object and the main takeaway is this target from the target we are gonna get the values of the um, you can say the uh, letter that we're gonna get so in here the console.log just use a console.log event or e dot target dot value yeah this one and just go to your browser and just call s d you can see that whenever i change something it's going to give the whole 
uh, letters now this is what we need yeah that's all now one thing more is gonna that we are gonna filter out the contents of this uh, countries now in here first of all we're gonna set the state or we're gonna create one new state in here and uh, let's say its name is search field now what it's gonna do in here not not only we're gonna just console it we're gonna just going to set the state in here and what we're gonna set the state with the search field and with the e dot target dot value that's what we want and if we just select it or oh, just save it and go to our components and in here okay just a sec yeah we got the components and in here we're just gonna type in here something d f or j k l you can see that the same thing is uh, changing in here search field now this is what we have done in this video and one more thing with what we are gonna do we're gonna just the search the use the filter method and that's how we're gonna filter out the countries in here so after render method what we're gonna do we're gonna use create a, a new variable const filtered countries and in here we are gonna just provide the this dot state or there is one more syntax that I'm going to teach the object extraction yeah you can say that this dot state if you know that it's gonna extract the properties from this dot state because it's an object so what we're gonna get we're gonna get the uh, what we want also we want stats and we want search field yeah that's it we got the stats and search field and in here stats dot filter we're gonna use the filter method in here and the countries or just type in country and in here this is the sort symbol for return you can use this symbol as return now in here it's gonna return the country dot country dot to lowercase dot includes includes what includes search field dot to lowercase that's what we want right now in here it's not gonna return the exact that we want so in here we're just not gonna give total stats we're gonna just return filtered countries in here now if we just save it and go to our browser and just use any country america you can see it's selecting it's uh, filtering out our component yeah that's what we want so you can say that uh, we have to almost done our project just do some styling and do more refactoring to our code and that's all we done in our next video thanks